Hey guys, I know it's been a while, but like I said, I was going to come back and do a demo track for Instinct, the library by Ava Music Group. They were kind enough to uh, hook me up with the library and ask if I would do a demo and kind of like a review. It's going to be a pretty informal review. We're not going to go through every single feature, but I'm just going to basically show how I use it in this piece. It was actually really inspiring to use. Um, I started with the instinct sounds and kind of built the track around that. So, so we're going to talk about that. So a little bit about the library. It's a trailer effects kind of library. So it's got loops, drones, brams, um, hits, subs, risers, whooshes, whoosh bangs, you know, all that good stuff. So yeah, it's really useful. They're really great sounds, high quality, and just, yeah, there aren't like tons of sounds, but I'd prefer, you know, quality over quantity. So um, it's really a really great library. So what I thought I'd do is, uh, is play my track first, and then I'll solo all the Ava Instinct elements and then you could hear just that soloed and then we can talk about each one and how I used it and yeah so let's just jump into it and play the track here kind of like it's a like a sci-fi dark sci-fi um, track kind of trailer ish obviously so it's about two minutes long so yeah I'm just gonna play it now and then I'll and then we'll go from there okay here we go Okay, so that's the track. Yeah, let's solo the Ava elements. Let's see here. Check it out with just, just the Ava stuff. This will give you a good idea how I used it.
Okay. So I would say a lot of the atmosphere for the piece really came from the Ava stuff. So along with, you know, the obvious you know, subs and drops and hits and stuff and whooshes, we, there's a lot of cool uh, loops happening here, and we'll talk about that. So we'll talk about the interface to the the GUI. So the first thing that happens, the main thing that propels the whole piece is this this drone here called All Star. Oops. So the rhythm, where does the rhythm come from? Let's talk about that. <clears throat> so I put some, I put head crusher on there, which is like a overdrive effect, but it's really pretty subtle. But let's uh, go into this. So here's what the GUI looks like. It has a step sequencer, which is pretty cool. Um, um, so you can do any, you know, a sequence and you can select what, uh, well, I'll show you that maybe later, but, um, you know, it's a standard se step sequencer. Now this is cool because it's like a, a panning, an automated panning, which I didn't use in this, but. Actually, no, it, it changes the rate, but. Yeah, so see, it tells you here, eighth notes. Here's eighth notes. So anyway, that's kind of cool. But I actually didn't use that. But so anyway, we'll take that off. Gain LFO. So, same idea. But... So that basically automates the gain, which can be cool for like maybe like stutter effects or things. Especially if you use like a, let's see, random here. And increase the rate. But you know, you'd probably want to use. So let's get, so I didn't use any of that stuff in this, but uh, in fact, let me yeah, check the amount. But what I did use was the filter and I did a filter sequence. So this is where that rhythm comes from, right? So that's that's that. So that's really useful. And you can actually have two two filters running and at different amounts, you know. Now this is the LFO. So that adds another element. So this adds another element. This is pretty cool, actually. Thank you. 
This is the amount, this is the rate. So you get a lot of cool effects running these things in tandem. So I use this rhythm a lot in the piece. Um, so let's check out the next thing I have here. So sticking with that rhythm at the end, the very end I had a different rhythm here. Okay, so use that. No, it's it's a little clicky now, but that's not the library. That's um my computer because I'm running the um, screen um, screencast software. So let's go back to the beginning again. We'll talk about the next thing, which is. Yuri Ice. So that's kind of cool, like atmospheric sound. Okay. And this deep bass one, this is a uh, Kind of doubles the original thing that I showed you. Just fattens it up a little. I'll go through some of the patches too, but let's play within the piece first. Okay, so moving along, this is a uh, comes in. This is actually at the end here. This comes in with a uh, right before that stutter effect that I did. This is also double with this evil god Bram here. So now what I did, the reason why they cut off like that is I did that because I had uh, that stutter effect. I wanted it to be totally exposed. So I didn't want But there's actually like a nice, uh, nice um, decay there if I take this off. Right, so anyway. So those two. So that's the basic idea at the beginning. Now let's get to... So after that stutter effect there, I have some things happening. So we have this. There's a cool little punctuation here. And it adds to that. The Bram. There's a big sub here. Uh, sorry. So nice. So that's a cool, that nice uh, thing up top there. Kind of eerie. And then here's some uh, whooshes, whoosh bangs. That's a cool, that's, I love that roll there at the beginning. Right there, a little like pickup. Really nice touch. Okay, so now the next section is, uh, is where I use some of the loops here. This one is just uh, like percussive. So let's see what that what's happening there. So So you notice I'm doing some like degrading of the tone and I think we'll talk about what that is. Uh So let me just loop this here for a second. Loop the loop. So filter I have a low pass filter on here. So that's pretty straightforward, right? With the cut and the resonance. Um, so this is the main engine. The effects, here's where it gets. So I have a couple things happening with the effects. Lo-fi. So 
so it's basically like a bit crusher type thing. So here it is without the effects. So it's very sort of standard percussion. I wanted it more like glitchy. So that's really easy to get just by some distortion and this lo-fi. So I lower the bit rate. And we get that kind of glitchy effect. So along with that, we have that loop, which is pretty cool. Let's check that out. So I got a low pass on that too. It's actually cool without that. Maybe I should have not filtered it. But anyway, <laughs> probably a reason why I did that. It has distortion on it because I wanted to kind of dirty it up a little. That's just the rhythm of the loop, so I didn't do anything rhythm-wise. Rhythm and here are some other effects we didn't really talk about, but pretty... Some cool stereo spread effects here. Let me show you that anyway. So it just gives it a more of a wider spread, which is kind of cool. sort of sculptor here. But I didn't use that. EQ compressor. This is useful if you don't, you know, if you want like a quick compression and you don't want to use uh, external effects. So that's that's useful. Alright, so that's what's happening in that part. So I also have these other things that I already showed you here, the drones happening with that, right? So this is the, for this section. So this is really carrying this section here. Not much else going on, so it's a lot of, a lot of the Ava stuff here. Okay, so the next thing. Okay, so before that though, I have this riser here, which is the Ava. So they have some cool risers here. Right. In fact, let me show you all the elements leading to the next section here. So that's really cool combination for our transitions here. So let me show you some of the risers here that they have. Um, so th for this one I used, what did I use? I used this one later on, I think. I think that's the one I use for there. The cool uh, guitar one there. So yeah, there's some nice stuff in there. Downers. The one I used for this is make that up. Yeah, that one. Or one of them. This is cool because well this is a pretty straightforward one, but Yeah, that's the one I use. Okay, and then the whooshes, so, pretty. Let's 
So yeah, there aren't like a ton of sounds, as I said, but they're all really good and useful. That one I like. I think I, I use that. Definitely. So this, let's listen to this. Cause Nice impact at the end. That's a really cool roll leading into it here. Right. Okay, so. All right, so this is the sub here that we heard before. Let's talk about this hit though, because I did some interesting things with this. Well, I sent it to a very, a really big reverb here, first of all. So I think it's the Valhalla, like six, six seconds maybe. So without, still a really nice tone though. It's uh, I filtered out the bass a little bit on the EQ. I low passed it. Because I just wanted that high tone. Not much really happening as far as the some EQing that I did. But no real effects. That's just sort of the sound of it. So um, I did some compression here. And like I said, I sent it to the big, the big reverb. But. Yeah, pretty. So here's the hit. Here's all the hits. Take this off so you can hear. It. So it's nice because there are some low and high hits. So. Well, they must be high. So it's a nice uh, contrast with the subs, which are more, you know, what you'd expect low kind of hits. Good though. Yeah, so that's that part here. So yeah, that snare really came in handy there. I didn't have to, I usually go for like a, another library, but uh, really that sound really fit for that section, so. Okay, then we had some downers here. That was just, that's just that low, like sub. Just nice. Another riser here. Okay, I used a couple risers here, which I like this combination. Actually, three. And then this whoosh. So, yeah, it's a pretty rich sounding combination. I have the downer here too, I'll play with that. Yeah, so that was a nice way to lead into that that final sort of epic section. I'll play that.
end section is really 90% Ava stuff. So let's check this out. So it really carries the end here. Kind of like the intro again. Coming back to the intro. I think that's it for the track. Hopefully, gave you guys some ideas on how to use the library. It's really a great library, and it's pretty for the money. It's really useful, and it's pretty inexpensive. So definitely consider it. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I don't know what else. It's, I mean, I could talk about the other elements I used, but I wanted to focus mostly on on the Ava stuff. But basically what I used it was a CS80 um, synth, some RAL stuff. Uh, yeah, just to show you the other elements. I did some guitar stuff in this part here. Oh yeah, I also created these guitar samples here. These loops with Super Collider. Top end, kind of. Yeah, some guitar stuff here. And then, you know, I filled it in with the usual kind of string support here, which I think help. Well, the strings just kind of support it because I wanted it to be more electronic sounding, but so yeah. And for percussion, I just used decimator and uh, damage, so pretty straightforward. The stutter st stuff is effects that <laughs> that I did, and it takes kind of a long time. But <laughs> what I do is re I mix out a section, and then I bring it back in and do like a a total like ch I just chop it like like this here. What I did here, so I physically <laughs> chop it and try to do it in rhythm. This is like a triplet thing here happening. Anyway, but little things like that, I think help with tracks like this to make it sort of unique. If you guys want me to go over the other stuff, I could do that in another video, but I just want to do a short video to talk about the Ava stuff. So yeah, I hope you guys like that and and consider buying the library. It's, uh, it's really cool. And uh, yeah, I'm trying to think if anything else, I missed anything. Yeah, leave comments below if, if you want me to answer questions um, about the track or if I missed anything. All right, so thanks for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Okay, bye.